In this video, we will learn which parameters have to be set in the test menu before you start working with the flood detector. And we will also consider the indicators that are displayed in this menu. As I told in the previous video, the flood detector can work in three modes – Expert, Conductivity and Test. The test mode is used only for the device maintenance, so there is no need to use it by an operator. Now I will show how to set up and change the flood detector parameters for inspection in the expert mode. The conductivity mode will be reviewed in one of the following videos. Test mode display consists of vertical menu, signal viewing field and lower status bar. Let's review the lower status bar indicators. They are frequency number for dual frequency mode. If this mode is on, the switch frequency key switches pages to display the frequencies 1, 2 or a mixture of them. Amplitude, signal phase, defect depth. To evaluate the defect depth correctly, you need to create a calibration curve that will be discussed in one of the next videos. The value of a signal amplitude at the input of the receiving circuit expressed in percent of the maximum possible. Input circuit and balance in percent. Current value of the load of the input circuit expressed in percent of the maximum possible. Sample frequency. This was discussed in the previous video. Battery life indicator. Temporary memory indicator. Digital overload indicators for input circuit light up red when the input circuit is overloaded. In this case, it is necessary to check whether an appropriate frequency value is set for the given ECP and, if this doesn't help, reduce the drive voltage and the gain if necessary. Trigger indicators for alarm. Digital round shape indicators that are duplicating alarm LEDs. Let's review the parameters in the vertical menu. Operating frequency of the probe the range of frequencies is indicated in the registration certificate for the given ECP. Preamplification and gain. In order for the change preamp value to take effect, we need to perform balancing pressing F1. Separate horizontal and vertical digital gain from minus 30 to 30 dB each. ECP driving voltage. Amplitude value is in range from 0.5 to 6 volts. Signal phase. May be changed in steps from 0.01 to 100 degrees. The following types of filters are implemented in the flood detector averaging, differential, low pass from 1 to 5000 Hz, high pass from 1 to 5000 Hz, and band pass, combination of low pass and high pass. Next are the graphic parameters. Selection of a complex plane center position. Grid type, radio, square, and off. Axis, on and off. Alarm. The following types of alarm frames are available. Circle, threshold, sector, and trapezium. To change the parameters of the frame, you need to select alarm type and press Save Default key.
Sweep is a number of samples displayed on strip charts. The Edicon C flood detector allows to connect different probe types single, bridge, and reflection. Type of connected rotary eddy current scanner. Watch the following videos for a detailed description of working with rotary scanners. After all the necessary parameters are set, the balancing should be carried out. To do this, press the F1 button. Besides, the balancing is required after the change in operating frequency and the ECP replacement. Using the F2 key, you can switch between the different types of display – complex plane, strip charts, waterfall, full screen, complex plane full screen. The key auto lift automatically puts a displayed signal to horizontal position, usually used for lift-off signals. I'll describe this function in the next video. To save the current setup as a default one, press the Save Default key if the current item is above the alarm item. We can start working after we set all the parameters. In the next video you will learn how to work with various types of ECPs as well as with the rotary scanner.